Today we're going to talk about zoning in Read Iris 16. You would scan in your document or open it from file. Uh, on the version 16, the zones are not visible until you click on either the zones button uh, tab or the adjust. So these color coded boxes are called zones and they designate what is going to happen to each area of the document. This orange is text, blue is a picture, and if there was a table it would be in pink or lavender. Barcode is something that would have to be set manually and when you have the barcode it would uh, process it to the actual data that the barcode represents. And these zones can be manipulated in a variety of ways. If you decide you don't want a particular thing included, then you can highlight it and click on delete. You can right click on it and choose zone type and change it to a different type. You can delete all zones if you want to just do it yourself and draw in the type of zones that you want. Zones that are of the same type will merge into one when they intersect, which can be very handy for including irregular shapes. If you want to start over from the beginning, just click the Analyze button and it will re-examine the document and zone it according to what it finds. The ignore button allows you to select just what you're interested in and everything in the crosshatches will be ignored. You can also right click in here and choose copy as text to paste into a word processor or other document. You can also change the sort order which is the order in which these things will be processed. And then you can delete all zones if you prefer to just zone it yourself. The do not detect windows on borders is something you'd set in advance. And that would eliminate uh, little zones that may crop up from uh, a speckled document. As you can see, the zones tool is a powerful way of choosing which information is to be included or excluded and in what format. Thanks for watching.